Well, thanks for having us here. No do you, worries. Do you spend? Do you get to spend much time here? Do you get any downtime? Uh, yeah. So most days I come home, just sit on the sofa, um, kick up some grub. Um, I think I'm a good cook. Yeah, yeah. What's, your, what's your speciality? <sighs> Chicken carbonara. Matt told me that he used to step you in the garden. <laughs> I might not tell you, I pushed him over the fence and broke his wrist. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Um, did he used to step you in the garden? Uh, he'll say he did, I'll say he didn't. I have to ask an observer, so I don't ask mum because she's biased. But, um, but no, yeah, he probably did. Um, I, you, I, used to, I used to run over top of him, he'd step me. So. Is it how, how, if, how is it for you having him now in this Warriors environment? Yeah, awesome. Absolutely love it. Um, Mum can't believe it, neither can grandma. Like, we actually like, don't kill each other and rip each other's throats out. But like, we, we got on really well growing up. But I think what, he was a bit, as your younger brother do and stuff, he was a bit, went through those annoying annoying years. And of course, and he's matured into an okay bloke. So, so yeah. So, and an okay player as well. Yeah, well, great. Yeah, he's doing awesome. So, yeah, he's sort of living my dream in the back row. But I'll let him off it. But no, no. So, yeah, it's awesome having him here. And uh, it's nice to see him settled. And, Living with all his pals and stuff, but he lived here. With, he, li he lived with us for two weeks, and yeah, it was quite quite a messy house. But so you said back row. Have you always been a prop? No, I was back row until I was fifteen. So then, of course, I got told like, you you're a great ball carrier and whatnot, and you you're doing really well at this age. But whenever I was quite big for my age, so when everyone else catches up, you're gonna struggle. So he's like, if you want to make, if you if you want to be a professional player, um, we we personally think that you could do a tight head. So. I was lucky I got uh, um, picked out at a young age, so of course did a few scrum sessions, hated it, but eventually came around to it and yeah, it's, it seems to be quite alright. And then so, other brother plays? So Matthew plays, it's a back row, Nathaniel is second row just now because he's really, really tall, but yeah, he'll probably be second row, but he's, 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 a, he's a big boy. Um, Agris, Agris played hooker for a bit, but he was probably more a back row. Um, he would play Dund Dundee High for a bit, but he's, he's, a, he's a really good hockey player. Um, and so he, one of them's really musical, he said. Well, so yeah, Nathaniel's really musical. So yeah, so he plays piano, bassoon, cello and sings. So yeah, so mum was really musical, so of course uh, I think she passed that on to us. So I, I did violin until I was 15 and of course did, did drums and everything and did an okay level and did that for my... I, I did standard grade music. So yeah, it was all right. You can see your brother. Um, so yeah, so no, yeah, I think he, he, he's doing really well, and he's got a great opportunity down south with that, with, the, with the school he's at, and really pushing him and stuff. And he's he's loving every second. And of course, he wasn't actually allowed to play rugby last year because he had a really bad hand injury, and of course uh, the risk of reading it was quite high. So um, I managed to persuade mum, so did he, that he could play this year. So he's he's loving it. So yeah. in your time at Glasgow professionally, it's you and Sela, I guess, have been. Yeah. Competing for that, mm. that number three jersey, yeah. as well as others, of course. Yeah. How do you rate Cedar as a player? What are his strengths? Yeah, no, I, th I think I th think he's a really good player. He's done really well for Tonga and stuff, and came with a big good rep for Gloucester. So yeah, no, he's a great player. Um, great to have around. Good guy on the squad. All the tight ends that I've been at the club, so I had John Welsh, I had um, Ian Murray, who was awesome. Uh, learned a lot from him. And uh, who else do we have? Mike Cusack was also really good as well, so yeah, so um, they've all been really big helps for me um, through, my, through my years at Glasgow. But yeah, no, no, I think we learn off each other. Um, one of us does something well one week, he'll talk to me about it. If I do well some, some week, he'll ask me about it. So yeah, so always trying to get better, that's the main thing. So. What have you learned from Dan McFarland? Dan McFarland, yeah, um, he's, he's, he's incredible. Um, yeah, I've had some good coaches in the past, but he's just different league. Um, just, 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 the detail once he goes into things is just second to none and uh, yeah he's taught me so much he completely revamped my whole scrum technique um, which wasn't great to start the season coming for pre-season you're like oh a new coach ah, he'll be alright like hopefully he likes me <laughs> yeah he's like yeah that's not good enough <laughs> yeah your body shape terrible back again now here we go um, but no it, 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 it's, it's working for me now um, but yeah just technique wise and just yeah I think the forward pack it's like just that attention to detail was just unbelievable. So next year you'll have Jonathan Humphreys? Yep. Um, yeah, another great coach. Uh, looking forward to working with him as well. Um, he's been in the Scotland job for a while. I've done a really good job with him. Is that, so is that yeah. good for you, the fact that you know him? and you've Well, yeah, I think, I think it's great on both levels because I know both coaches and I like a brand new coach. Um, and also it's great for 
McGregor going in there as well. You know him as well. So um, that's of course is selected. So not nothing too far ahead. But yeah. But um, now really really looking forward to working with Humphs and uh, um, yeah, he's he's been really good for Scotland. Made our made the scrum in the lineup and attacking threat and really turned the scrum around. So yeah, really looking forward to working with him and see what see what we can do. Yeah. Tell us about. That day at Maritol. Oh, okay. Your first cap. Oh, my first cap, yeah. So, uh, yeah, it was unbelievable. Um, just, I think, it's a whole bunch of... Uh, all those years of working hard and all those years of... Um, just on sore necks on a Sunday morning and hating life. <laughs> um, just all came... Yeah. I think, uh, Were you I, nervous? I was really nervous, yeah. But I, I think Dad called me and pretty much said, like, don't worry. If you weren't ready for it, he wouldn't pick you. And just go and enjoy it. You know, it doesn't happen again. And, my uncle came up from London to watch it. My grandparents, my grand was there. My other grandparents were watching it on TV. Like the whole family was behind me, and it was, it was awesome. And got loads of texts from the club and stuff, and boys at the club and Gregor, and yeah, it was, it was an awesome day. What's the best experience you've ever had on the rugby pitch? Um, probably wearing the Bruin Dolphin plate in the high school against Hoyk. Yeah, it was just, oh, it was awesome. Um, just I think we had a really good season. Worked all the way there. We got knocked at the cup. Was a bit gutted with that, but came back as a team and thrashed Hoyk. And oh, it was just awesome. I, I got man of the match, and my grand, my granddad. It was the last game he managed to watch. He passed away, but two months later, and he was a massive fan of mine. Um, I came to all my games, and uh, I was uh, I was with him every summer because he was in the fishing business and just worked with him every summer. So yeah, so it's just for me, it stuck out because I won man of the match, and he came and watched and. Just gave me that hug afterwards and like, well done. I was like, oh, it was, it was just like the best feeling ever.